The Premier has spent this afternoon touring the cyclone-ravaged communities in Tully and surrounds. She says the recovery effort has helped thousands of North Queenslanders get back on their feet in less than three weeks since the devastating cyclone. Demolishing the remnants of homes in Tully Heads continues brick by brick. Many houses in this seaside suburb will have to be rebuilt. The Premier has visited the devastated region three times in the last month. I don't uh, think that anybody expects that after something a disaster of this magnitude that everything will be going perfectly. Of course it doesn't. While she says resources are still stretched, the recovery effort has been astonishing. What I see here is people working to the absolute limits of their ability, doing the best that they possibly can, and it's making a difference, an enormous difference to this community already. Tully Head's resident of 20 years, Ernie Gower, has been without power for the last three weeks. I can't complain. They've fed us, they've helped us move stuff, and it's been very good. He considers himself to be one of the lucky ones, though he still has a roof and four walls. In these streets of Tully Heads, there's a high threat of asbestos contamination. Teams of specialised workmen have been brought in to safely remove the hazardous material. This house was built after the asbestos. I believe my neighbour next door has an asbestos problem, but this one there's no asbestos whatsoever. The Premier will travel to Cairns tonight, where she'll run the state for the rest of the week. Josh Bavis, ABC News, Tully Heads.